You've been invited to join a Yahoo group, but joining can be complicated. Hi, I'm Chris with Laughter on Water, and that's the topic of this segment. You used to be able to directly add new members without having to create a Yahoo account. As of mid-2014, this is no longer the case. I can't directly add somebody, I have to invite them. So the way I do that as a manager is I go to the member list and I click invite. Only managers can do this. Then I put in the first and last name and the email address, like this. And then I click invite. Now that I've sent out my invitation to NerdBob, I'm going to pretend I'm NerdBob and go to the inbox for NerdBob and I see that there it is, a Yahoo Groups invitation. So I'm going to click on the invitation and I'm going to click join this group. And it says I've been invited and all I need to do is click the join group button. But you'll notice I don't have a Yahoo account so I need to sign in or create a new one. So since NerdBob doesn't already have a Yahoo account, I'm going to create an account. Once you've filled in all of the particulars, including a cell phone number, your birthday, and your gender, click Create Account. Soon you should see a congratulations screen, at which point you'll know everything has gone correctly. You may remember we were in the middle of joining the Kenny Ridge Yahoo group, so this is where we've been brought once we've signed in and created our account. Basically, I'm going to make sure that I have individual emails rather than the Daily Digest. And I'm going to type in this code. If you can't understand the code, try a new code. And then send request. So that's all there is for joining the Yahoo group. If you want to take a look at the membership, this is your membership information right here. You can click to edit membership to change your membership status or change particulars about your membership right here. I wanted to come back for a minute to the sign up screen because once you've clicked the create account button, you may actually come to a verification screen where it says that your number is invalid. If that's the case, that may mean that you already have a Yahoo account attached to that telephone number. At this point, you can try having Yahoo send an SMS message to you, or you can have Yahoo call you with the code. Or it may mean that Yahoo doesn't recognize that number as a valid mobile number. If that happens, there's not a whole lot we can do. You'll need to find another telephone number to validate your Yahoo account. There used to be an easy way to make a Yahoo account without a telephone number, but that's no longer the case. So for the purposes of this exercise, we'll assume that your telephone number worked correctly. That's all there is to logging in on the Yahoo group for Kenny Ridge and creating a Yahoo account. Once again, this is Chris with Laughter on Water. Thanks for watching.